We'd like to welcome you to A Burning Idea, Censoring and Challenging Books. I'm Kathy Moran Hajo. I'm a professor of history at Ramapo College. I specialize in women's history and in social history and teach digital history courses. And I also manage the Jane Addams Papers Project. And I'm Rebecca Dierking. I teach at Truman University in Kirksville, Missouri. I am an English education professor and teach young adult literature, academic writing for non-native speakers. I also supervise student teachers in the English education program. So today we're going to talk to you about our class about a burning idea. And a burning idea starts with that burning idea, which an author has, and they just have to get it on paper. Once they've published it, then readers consume that idea and often have problems with the idea, and they challenge it. So many different ideas for why they challenge it. They may not like the language. They may um, not like some of the situations that are presented, such as scenes of aggression or violence, such as rape or pedophilia. Um, there might be drug usage. Or it might just be the catch-all phrase, it's not appropriate for the age group. What interests me about censorship as a historian is that it gives us an opportunity to look at a clash between ideas, different groups at different times, have different ideas about what children should understand, what individuals should be able to read, and they want they, they fight it out basically in, in censorship fights. Yeah. All right. So the kinds of projects that you might work on could focus on a couple of different things. Uh, there could be a historically based project where you take a historical book that has been censored, like James Joyce's Ulysses. This was published in the early 1900s and was banned in the United States in 1918 and then um, unbanned in 1933. <laughs> So what we were doing with a, a project like this is looking at why it was banned, what the society was objecting to, how that changed over time, and what it means to tell us about our society. Or you could look at a more modern context for challenging books, such as those in schools and libraries. For instance, recently, uh, A Kite Runner by Colette Hosseini was challenged in the state of Missouri, my home state. The school district there challenged it on scenes of pedophilia. There was a uh, scene of rape in the book. There's um, prolific language that is used that was objectionable. And then that catch-all phrase, it wasn't appropriate for the age group. So in our class, students will be working on websites. They'll be working in teams of two. And they will be producing a website that uses digital tools to explore the issues that they're dealing with. They'll also be presenting their work to the public. So we hope you join us in spring of 18 with your burning idea.